how do you have a dynamic search bar in Excel using multiple data sources? So I've got three different tables worth of data across three different sheets in my workbook. You can see them down here, data one, data two, data three. Well, uh, what we're going to do is use this standard little search based filter and we're using filter right here. We're looking in data one right now, just that first table. Then we're using is number combined with search to pull out all of the uh, rows where the company name is equal to the search term up here in C2. All right, stay with me. It's not that complicated. All we're doing is literally using a search term right here. I'm gonna change it from Meta to Amazon. And you can see over here in column E, all the company names change. So this is giving me only the search results where the company is Amazon. If you scroll down, you see there they all are. Now, that's great. Here's data one where we're pulling that info. See, we have Microsoft, Best Buy, Meta, uh, Amazon, Kroger, Home Depot. It's just pulling out the ones that I'm searching for. If I change this to Kroger, there we've got Kroger. It doesn't have to be an exact match. If I do AM, it'll just pull out the Amazons. But if I do something like some weird string, it will give me an error. So it's a great little dynamic search bar except for when you've got your data in multiple places. Shout out to someone on my YouTube channel who asked about this very use case because I've done videos on this before and didn't address it. Well, it is pretty simple to address. What we're going to do, we're gonna take this search function and I'm going to copy this filter and then I'm gonna come up here, in case you didn't know, you can increase the size of this bar up here to make it easier to type data in. And actually I'm gonna work up here. So I'm just gonna cut that out. And now we're going to use the VStack function. So this vertically stacks arrays into one array. So if I've got one array that I've returned, this search result would be an array, then I can add another array and stack them on top of each other. I think you see where we're going with this. If we use this, I'm gonna click Alt Enter and then write my first filter right here. We separate the arrays by commas, so I'm gonna do Alt Enter and do my second filter here, and I haven't changed the details yet. We'll do that here in just a second. Close the parentheses. Now all I've gotta do is change data one to data two, and then the uh, place where we're searching this data company field, change that to data two, and down here, data one to data three, and then data one company to data three company. Now we're going to stack up the search results of the same exact thing throughout all three of these data tables. I'm gonna hit enter, and now we're going to type meta back in, and you can see we've got a whole lot more fields and rows of data, and they're numbered down here, the IDs are numbered. So data one goes from ID one down to ID 333, and so forth and so on. This one's from ID 334 to 666, just to prove that it's actually pulling the data in from each of the table, it is doing that. So here we've got some in the uh, 100s, 200s, 400s, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's pulling all those in and just stacking them on top of each other. If you want this function or this formula rather, I'll leave it in the description below. You can copy and paste and change the details to suit your data. Hey, if you actually wanna know how this function is working, the dynamic search part that I didn't really explain in this video, well, I got another video all about it right here. Check it out. And also down in the description, there's the function that you can copy and paste like I told you, but there's also a link for my free newsletter that I write every week. If you like stuff like this, you'll like it, I promise. Hope you have a great one. Talk to you later.